Hello, I'm Patricia McNeely from Twin Flame Body. How are you today? In today's video, I want to talk to you about um, some of the things about the new level. And this is going to have to do with lunar cycles. So right now at the time of this recording, we're already feeling some of this. And, you know, this whole thing that's happening, there are ascension symptoms. That is what I specialize in. That is my specialty, hands down. And I will read your body and get things uh, going for you. Because it's really going to get weird for people. Why? Because you're going to be much more tied to the lunar cycles of energy. The moon has a bearing on your system, on everybody's systems. And what you may not know is what to do about that. What to do about it is going to pertain partly if you are a female and it's going to be some different stuff if you are a male. Some of it is actually the same. This has a big uh, impact on the part of you that is your sacral. It has a big impact on the part of you that is the reproductive system. It has a big impact on you um, actually around your crown and the areas that are around your body, your senses, your throat, your throat chakra, um, some of the organs such as, um, you know, eyes, ears, nose, throat. But you can't ignore these things. You actually have to treat yourself properly as someone who is going through ascension. And that's where a lot of people balk or they think that somehow this too shall pass. Um, you're going to go through cycles of it until you start getting it. That's the news that people really don't want to hear because some people do everything. They throw the kitchen sink at it. But some people really don't lift the proper fingers that they should. Or they think that doing the work means uh, going and get some kind of you know, other type of um, help that really isn't going to have any bearing on the body for you. It's time to pay attention to your body because that is what is anchoring and that is what is holding the new foundation even as you purge and you go through a, the ascension process. So everything that you've done up till now that you might call a twin flame stage, that was all part of the breakdown. Right now, you're going to go through different stages for a different level of things. So some of those stages um, that we're very familiar with, and if this is new to you, I would say to you, please know that some of this is going to shift very rapidly. You're not going to have to trip through some of the things that people tripped through 10 years ago. And yet you may have quite a lot of body sensations, symptoms, things that seem almost um, medical or physical in nature, and yet something about it makes you sense that there's something beyond in the unseen uh, level of things that are affecting you. What does this all have to do with? It has to do with love, and it essentially has to do with taking out the trash of the past, get the garbage out, and that's the purging getting everything out, all of the connections, and you may be stuck with that. You may be stuck with a person that really is not a person that you should be connected to at all or that you shouldn't have any further connection with. Do you know the difference? It's in how it feels to you. But if you still don't know the difference and you don't know, you know if you're getting pushed, you don't know if you're getting pulled, and you don't even know if it's, is it the moon energy? Is it the retrograde energy? Like what's happening now? Why am I weeping? When does, you know, when does my real life begin? I want my real life. I'm tired of some of this. Start with the body, which is what I teach you about. Because it begins and ends with the body. You have a body within your body. That's the very first video I ever did to talk about the bit body you have within your body. You have brand new connections that only you can click to yourself, that only you and actually you and the person who is the true other half of your soul can connect to. You have to learn how to ride the wave, too. And be, this is because it has a bearing on your body systems. 
um, your moods, your level of energy. And it is time to level up. So learning how to ride the wave is a little bit like being a surfer. But if you can't feel the waves and you're, you know, you can't feel the approach of anything and you are sort of relying on the internet and then you're becoming upset because nobody's really telling you what to do or how to do it. Or they say something odd like, you know, there's mysterious things that work and you're just kind of scratching your head saying, really, like, what is this all about? Don't go with the fear section of the universe. Um, stick with that there is a plan. There is a plan here. There is a divine plan for you to get where you're going and to have a brand new body structure to be able to do it. That body that I'm referring to, your twin flame body, and that is my modality, that is my proprietary modality for helping people with this, is to help you live free, to get above some of the things that have been troubling you, to um, recover from ancestral things that may run in your family. And I'm talking quite seriously about, you know, things that lead to serious illness or will degrade you as you go along here. And that's what I like to say is if you go into those, you know, degrading levels, that's not unconditional love because you're sitting there and saying, wait, but I can't. We want to empower you. I believe in empowering people so that they themselves can be in love, be healthy, be well. So what is it about these cycles of energy? Well, first of all, it's going to be extremely noticeable. In fact, we're already starting it and it is not even, it's not even that uh, major cycle of the moon. You're going to notice it with your reproductive uh, parts because those are part of the sacral. Those are part of your heart connection and your hormones. Some of the hormones are going to fluctuate wildly and really throw you off. And it's time for you to find out what you can do to get rid of the past once and for all, because dumbing it down with meds will only go so far. Medicine does help. I'm not here to knock medicine. I'm here to help you wean off of it and get to the level where it's almost unnecessary. Maybe a little bit is necessary for certain things, but it's unnecessary. What if you have low energy or anxiety? Now, what people may not understand is your past lives have a big bearing on this and where you've been connected to. So you're going from being connected to a very deep earthly level. Sometimes it's very survivalistic and you're pulling yourself out. And, you know, I know what everyone wants to know. They want to know like what's happening on the other side or what are quote they doing? What are they thinking? And this and that. If you get caught up in things that are sort of um, not really going to give you the answers that you need for right now and you don't focus on yourself, you have to turn that mirror around and totally be focused on yourself in order to get through this. And that's no joke. If you don't put those blinders on and keep putting one foot in front of the other and getting the proper things that you need, and, you know, I know that a lot of people think this is just going to bump along and then open up. No, this is it. This is ascension in the works. This is ascension for everybody um, to some degree or another. In some ways, we've been waiting for this. In other ways, this is not the way we would have thought it would look. You know, where we thought maybe the lights flick on and everyone wakes up and goes, oh, that's who it is or that's who you are. Instead of, oh, uh, clean up on aisle three and you've got to like go and take everything out and, you know, for three days you're purging or for, you know, some other oddity that happens to you, you just don't even know what is this going to lead to. How would you like to have a plan and be a part of a plan where there is, actually is an outline for it? Okay, I have that in my book, the book that I just brought out. 
and it is called Twin Flame Relationships. There is information in there. And there's quite a bit of material I have on the topics of what to do about reproductive and hormones. That's in a production that I just recently did. Also, low energy. How do people get fatigued and how do they get out of it? And furthermore, how do you get out of the cycles where it seems to get worse and worse? And what do you need to cut? Because you should be cutting emotional cords with things. And it doesn't have to be like a cord cutting ceremony. It actually has to be done in a certain way through the body. So that and using some of the things with my modality, which I do teach you to do so that it's thorough. It is effective and it's it you get to completion. There are things being completed now, but there are things that sometimes only you can complete. What if you've had issues in the past or in this life with some really heavy energies? Are you feeling attacked? Are you feeling anxiety? Are you nervous? Are you wondering what's going to happen when things open up again and you say, I have to go back out in the world. Like, how is this going to look? What do I do? Have a psyche body session with me, which is a very deep session. I do recommend a couple of them spaced out and I will make the recommendations to you during your sessions. So this is something to know that what I'm doing is very, very much to get you to the fifth dimension. It is not fourth dimension. It is not an old school type of, um, you know, horoscope reading or something like that. We can't be old school about anything anymore. Things have to be new. And if it's not including your highest and greatest good, then you should be really paying attention to that. What about men? I'm going to relate some conversations I had with men before we went into lockdown because these were just happening spontaneously. They were people that were living with someone, married, a couple of them, and these happened to be spontaneous conversations. They were not, you know, they were not like session with someone. And they were all along the same lines that they were stuck with this person. They were stuck. One man kept wanting to find out what made her tick. He had spent close to 15 years trying to figure out why she didn't like him, trying to figure out why she decided to trap him in marriage, trying to figure out why she had such a hold over him. And yet he couldn't see that the exit was right there because, you know, he just couldn't see it. He was so locked into that. That's deep damage, people. That is deep psyche damage. And he related to me some of the things that his wife had said to him because they were going to break up at some point. But after they decided not to, she actually said to him, well, you're trapped now. And he didn't understand what that all meant because that was years ago. Now, how does that feel when you bring that forward? And why is he even saying it? Why would he tell someone all about this because it affected him. It affected his metabolism. It affected his energy level. He had low energy. He could not get himself going every single day. So the conversation actually started about metabolism and energy and ended up with talking about what a bad marriage it is. These are the things that happen when people stay in a karmic situation. It affects the energy. It affects how you feel, it affects your self-esteem, and it can affect your resources, a lot of your resources, because the karmic drain that goes on to people when staying with things that aren't suitable for them, it's a bit shocking at how things happen. Now, that was not the only conversation I had, and I, I don't really like to, you know, just hear all these things. I like to tell people there is a solution. There's a way to unclick and break those emotional connections because those are not good emotions. And let's get this gone so things, everybody, for everybody concerned, the children, the people, the spouse, the karmic, whatever you call it, 
can move along. Soulmates are just soulmates are just soulmates. No matter what we call them, there's, you know, they're going to be a soulmate or they can be a cellmate. <laughs> you know, can, do you feel like you're locked in with people? Well, right now, a lot of people are locked in with person they don't want to be locked in with. So again, reproductive hormones, anxiety, low energy. What will you be willing to do to help yourself and Please know that now, even if you've had, um, you know, counseling or you have some other kind of thing, I have ways to get the energies moving so that things go very much in a sequence for you. So these cycles of energy are going to make things very prominent as we go into a new moon cycle this is where we're digging out more dirt and we're dredging up more of the past and it's going to show up. It always shows up publicly and it shows up personally in uh, much closer one-on-one -on -one situations. So I can help you. Um, it is my specialty, the body, the ascension symptoms, the brand, the integration of the brand new body template. Integration of your twin flame body is number one top priority. And from that comes what will you do with it? Because if you're not able to bring the love in, you're not able to bridge the dimensions, you're going to get lost in this and you're going to feel left out. You're going to feel like somehow there's a plan that you weren't included on. So I'm not here to rub it in. I'm here to tell you, start to get with it, start to um, have some of the things or join the things or get my information so that you can get up and running with it. It's very good. It's ahead of its time. There are things that I, there are also things that I know that I haven't presented yet because they're for next year. There's a lot of great stuff that's coming up here, but only if you get the connections that you need up and running, which is not a passive thing. That is a proactive thing that you have to do. Time to put skin in the game. It's time for everyone to roll up their sleeves and stop being bored or stop, be, stop getting distracted with what's around, stop the fear mongering, and really join what this is all about. Thank you.